What is going on, everyone? This Houston Texans defense led by head coach D'Amico Ryans is elite. And I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. The Houston Texans defense is a top five unit in the NFL. When you look at the front four, the linebacking group, the secondary, it is hard to find a weakness. And here's the thing, guys. The Houston Texans are still without their starting linebacker, Christian Harris, and are still without one of their big free agent acquisitions. Danico Archer, who had 11 and a half sacks last year for the Tennessee Titans. When those two come back, I could only fathom the amount of production we are going to see from this swarm in Houston Texans defense. But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to break it down. My name is Ruben Calavillo, and this is the 713 Houston Sportcast. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. This episode was brought to you, empowered by BetUS. Take advantage of the 150% bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000. The Houston Texans are 2-0. Let's look a little ahead. Let's just put $50 down to name them the 2025 NFL Super Bowl winner. Look, it's only week three. But, guys, look at the potential payout, $50 to win $550. we are just going to let this cook and wait, and we're going to enjoy the ride. Guys, BetUS is giving you a 150% bonus on your first deposit up to two thousand dollars and look at all the other stuff you could bet on golf tennis soccer martial arts horse racing you could even put some money down for tomorrow's thursday night football matchup with that being said i have the houston texans winning the super bowl i put fifty dollars to win 550 let me know you tell in the comments shout out to bet us Ladies and gentlemen, this Houston Texans defense made an NFL record Sunday night against the Chicago Bears. They pressured quarterback Caleb Williams on 81.8% of his dropbacks. They sacked the number one overall pick seven times and picked him off twice. Should have been three. One interception from Derek Stingley. One interception from Kamari Lasseter out of Georgia. Kamari Lasseter should have had two. I want to look at this front four because you have three new starters. For Lorenzo Fatukasi, Mario Edwards Jr., and your big acquisition in free agency, Daniel Hunter, two years, $48 million. And Daniel Hunter, so far, looks like he was worth the investment and was on fire against Chicago. One and a half sacks. Should have had one more if Caleb Williams wasn't so slippery. His sack came in a key moment of the game. When the Chicago Bears offense was trying to steal one from the Houston Texans late in the fourth quarter, just makes the right tackle look silly, smothers Caleb Williams. Will Anderson Jr., opposite of him, a half and a, I'm sorry, a sack and a half also should have had another one if Caleb Williams wasn't so slippery. But this is what you expected from your edge rushing duo. I've said it all offseason. I think Will Anderson Jr. and Daniel Hunter are a top edge rushing duo in the NFL, and they looked like it against Chicago. What I also love from these two, how they create opportunities for your defensive tackles for Lorenzo Fantucasi and Mario Edwards Jr. Mario Edwards Jr. has a sack in the last two games for Lorenzo Fantucasi, a sack against the Colts. Entering this year, we thought, the defensive tackles was going to be a weakness. There was a lot of unknowns. You went from Sheldon Rankins, Malik Collins, to Full Lorenzo Fatukasi and Mario Edwards Jr. And man, Edwards and Fatukasi are playing fantastic. Not only are putting the pressure on quarterback in past situations, but they are shutting down the run. Jonathan Taylor last week, only three yards a carry for Indy. Didn't get 50 yards. Sunday night, DeAndre Swift, 1.3 yards a carry. The Houston Texans are shutting down these Pro Bowl running backs. You also have to give credit to your linebackers, Aziz Alshayer, your captain, and Henry 2020 in the absence of Christian Harris. With Aziz Alshayer, who was one of your leading tacklers against Chicago, a tackle for loss, a sack, had the big moment on the sideline where he took on the entire Chicago Bears by himself. I love that he is here. I love that he has a captain patch. This is the guy that is really embodying the D'Amico Ryan's defense, the swarm mentality Aziz Alshayer has that. Henry Tuotuo, your leading tackler against Chicago, was great in the one in the run last week against Indianapolis. 
a tackle for loss, a sack. And here's the thing. You have some Houston Texans fans saying, do we really want Christian Harris to come back? Come back when he's healthy. No rush. Henry Tua Tua is absolutely balling out right now. Shout out to my boy AD who calls him Henry Noah Noah. This Houston Texans secondary was one of my biggest concerns entering this season. I said, you're starting two rookies back there, Kalen Bullock and Kamari Lasseter, and both of those guys already have a takeaway. Last week, Kalen Bullock picks off Anthony Richardson. This week, Kamari Lasseter, an interception against Caleb Williams. Should have had two if Henry Tuatua didn't get caught for that very questioning holding penalty. But guys, Derek Stingley has been everything you wanted as a number three overall pick. I've been saying it all offseason. If he gives you a full 17 games, we're talking about one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Shut down Michael Pittman last week against Chicago. Had some, you know, some up and down moments against DJ Moore. It's not like DJ Torch, Derek Stingley, but there was some, you know, some missed tackles and, you know, a conversion on third down. But when it came down to it, when Caleb Williams threw it up and said the better man makes the play, it was Derek Stingley, number 24, who came down with the interception. Now, he has a tough matchup this week against Justin Jefferson, his former LSU teammate. And, man, if Derek Stingley has a day, we're going to be having a conversation. Kamari Lasseter, everyone was saying this guy's too slow to be an outside corner, and he looks locked down. I mean, his one, two interceptions against Chicago just showed off like elite hands understanding that when a play breaks down, you still got to stay with your guy. You still got to understand that, you know, what the quarterback is doing. Kamara Lasseter right now has been playing fantastic. I think he got a PFF coverage gate of 90 against Chicago Bears. Your two safeties, Jimmy Ward, Kalen Bullock. Now, last week against Indy, Jimmy Ward gave up three big plays, was one of the reasons why Indy was still in it. Was not the case this week. Kalen Bullock, I just mentioned, his interception last week had a, you know, a an ugly P.I. call called against him against Chicago. He definitely did commit the penalty. It led to them, you know, getting a Khalil Herbert touchdown. But outside of that, you cannot ask for more from Kalen Bullock. Ladies and gentlemen, this Houston Texans defense has been surprising. I said all offseason, I think the bread and butter was going to be this Houston Texan offense, this passing attack. But, man, the defense the past two weeks have kept you in games, have won you games, and we're not even 100%. So when, once Christian Harris comes back, once Danico Archie comes back, I could only fathom the type of production this defense is going to do. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Did I hit the nail on the head? Did I totally miss? For more Houston Texans content, come back for more. Go Houston. This episode was brought to you and empowered by BetUS. You have a very blessed day.